doing front flips in a row. Oh, I am, I am so dead set on losing my virginity. I will lose my virginity before the age of 40 years old. I will work so hard in my physical abilities. That's what I've got to do to make myself known that I know how to have fun. Don Lee Miller, the 36-year-old virgin. <laughs> What you need to do is light some candles, get some buble on the Pandora, soak a loaf of white bread in warm milk, and bury your boner five slices deep. It feels amazing, and soggy milk bread never asks you to meet its parents. That muscular metal mouth is Donnelly, and he's having a hard time finding a lady who shares his passion for consecutive front flips. So what if he's never popped any cherries? I'm sure he's had some of them stuck in his braces. Being a virgin is nothing to be ashamed of. In fact, it will actually make you more valuable if you're ever kidnapped and forced into sex slavery. <laughs> Besides, some of the most respected celebrities in the world are virgins. Tim Tebow, Lolo Jones, Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> Priests don't have sex, and look how well-adjusted they are. Remember the first time you make love, there is zero chance of pregnancy, so go raw. And technically, it's not premarital sex if you never plan on marrying them. <laughs> The hymen is like the foil on top of yogurt. Think of it as a door you have to kick down with your penis to get into awesome land. <laughs> if you're ugly, keeping your virginity is a snap. If you're pretty, it's a lot harder, which is why God invented ass play. <laughs> Just kidding, Christians. Anal sex doesn't preserve your virginity. Your poop hole is not a loophole. That's sodomy. <laughs> Donnelly needs to get deflowered soon, so I canceled his orthodontist appointment and brought him here for some Californication in this week's Web Redemption. No! Oh! <laughs> Donnelly? I said no double bouncing. That's scary. How long have you been trampolining? Is that what it's called, trampolining? Yeah, you could call it trampolining, bouncing. Black bed jumping. That seems racist. I mean, that's what we're jumping on, a black bed. Has anyone ever done eight front flips in a row? Never seen it personally, but yes, it's been done. How long have you been a virgin? 37 years. Do you think the problem is you're hanging out in, uh, in gymnasiums where there's a bunch of children around? That could possibly be a solution right there. Have you always yeah. wanted to save yourself? For the right person, yeah. How far have you gone with a woman? Haven't made it to first base. You've never even kissed a woman? I've never had my first kiss. Get over here. <laughs> That's not bad, right? No. All right. What's your stance on masturbation? I definitely sometimes have to resort to it, especially after I've seen like a good looking woman. When you're a rookie like yourself. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're gonna to wanna to spend tons of time on foreplay. Talking like an hour, two Three hours. Good questions. You want real answers, and I'm gonna give them to you. No, an hour, knock it off. You wanna kiss for five minutes. <laughs> then you wanna start touching their ass. Then you wanna start taking clothes off. Do you know about the vagina? Yeah, I know, the ba I mean, the basic parts of it, yeah. You wanna spend all your time up there. Don't even worry about the hole, even though that's where we wanna be, because it's more fun down there. Shoving things in their fingers, it does little for them. These are things that we've all done. Every, every guy here, that guy spit on his before, right there. And you want to have sex for maybe two minutes, and you're done. She's on her period. What do you do? And so you don't worry about it. You need to go in there strong. Get it on your face. It's like war paint. Oh! What do you imagine sex feels like? I would imagine you feel it's pretty good. Then immediately after, shame. It's amazing how much you liked this person laying next to you 10 minutes ago. And now, oh. <laughs> You could watch her get hit by a bus, and nothing would make you happier. That's what sex feels like. Donnelly, you need a man up if you're ever going to pop that penis cherry. And there's only one place on Earth guaranteed to make a man out of you. That's the man show. The show with Jimmy Kimmel and Adam Carolla? No, the classic version with Joe Rogan and Doug Stanhope. I thought they canceled that show. No, they still film it. Comedy Central just refuses to put it on television. <laughs> Welcome back to The Man Show. I'm Joe Rogan. And I'm Doug Stanhope. Hey, where's the guy with the piano? The fox guy? Yeah, yeah he's dead. Uh, oi, oi, oi. <laughs> uh, so, 37 years old and you're, uh, you're still full. What, what's been the problem? 
Uh, the problem is I've just had very few opportunities to go out there and meet the one. Where have you been looking? I do a bunch of marathon running. It's really right hard on. to keep a conversation going. <laughs> with you. It sounds like he's looking for the one. You don't need to be married. And marriage is nice. I mean, unless you're in a marriage where you don't have sex, which I don't think happens very often. How, how often do people usually have sex? Well, Most people get sick of each other and they don't want to f <laughs> It's true. What do you jerk off to? Like, if you've never even had a sexual experience, <laughs> you're question. still probably at that prepubescent, pubescent stage where you can jerk off to, like, GoDaddy commercials. Or... Doesn't, like, excess mat even, like, once a day, doesn't it cause, like, some form of, like, odd health problems? Yeah, 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 you could die. Why don't you just pretend you know how to f Imagine if you caught AIDS on the first time you f 37 years of nothing and then AIDS. It's like an Alanis Morissette song. I, I think your issue is a social issue, my friend. I think it has to do with friendship. Yeah, you know those Christian bitches want to f Have you ever done ecstasy? No. You're yeah. throwing fastballs at a catcher who has no He's mitt. Fine. <laughs> I'll put you in a situation that I was once in, but as you. Just done some mushrooms with your friend Matt Becker. You want to dump a load before the, you start tripping. So you go to a whorehouse three blocks down on Spinard Highway. It was called the Ravenite. It's almost closed. There's two hookers left. You pick the blonde. What do you pick? Missionary or doggy style? Doggy style. You're wrong, and that's why you need us. Didn't I just tell you you're on mushrooms, your senses are peaked, you can smell a fly fart from six blocks away. <laughs> when you're making love to her, is it stink gonna go up? Oh. It's gonna go to the side? No, you want missionary. You want your face as far away from that problem. By the way, December 21st, 2012, we're at the Wilton Theater in Los Angeles with Joey Diaz. He says he has six inches. Was that flaccid or hard? I didn't even That's ask. Hard. Well, well, he doesn't get flaccid at this you. point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back here, my tits are out. My beaver's all unshaven and <laughs> overgrown. What kind of music are you gonna play? Maybe a little, some Depeche Mode, maybe, like... Oh, Jesus, you're gonna lose your boner. <laughs> you just get your box until your boner comes back. Uh? Now, spit me. Would you drink donkey <laughs> to get a lady? Yes. Would you ever consider having sex with a man? Um, not particularly, no. I wish we could just find someone to bang this guy. Yeah, it's too bad there's not any girls who love jumping on trampolines that are also gigantic sluts. <laughs> the Juggies! My virginity. All right. Congratulations, stud. Now let's get out of here. It's gross seeing what two decades of jumping on a trampoline did to that titty. Thanks to Jennifer Aniston for letting us use her old ass flapjacks as that girl's booby double.